For all intents and purposes, most of the drugs that we have for one disease work in the other disease. Sometimes to the same overall extent, sometimes a little less so. Um, possibly one of the more recent examples of something where that's not the case is tofacitinib, which is effective in ulcerative colitis and was tested in Crohn's disease and was not effective. Um, I, I don't actually think it's dosing. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is. It's not readily apparent what it is. Uh, we, we know, however, that as a class of drugs, these JAK inhibitors, which is what TOFA is, uh, work in Crohn's disease, and there could just be subtleties in uh, the mechanism of action um, that, or bioavailability that make these drugs uh, work differently in different diseases. Um, I do think that, um, uh, that it would be great in a perfect world that these clinical trials could be done more nimbly. If the question is directed at why, why are they st staggered, right? Some of it is cost, obviously, putting on a clinical trial is a very expensive endeavor, and therefore a pharmaceutical company must need to decide which one's gonna be the winner or which one is more likely to be successful and kind of looking at things that I don't really know that well in terms of the landscape. But nevertheless, I think that it, in, it, for the benefit of our patients, I really wish that things could be more nimble. Uh, people are talking about platform clinical trial designs where if something's not working, you move on to the next therapy and you move on to the next therapy. And I think that would be really genius, especially if we could get pharmaceutical companies to collaborate to do that. Because at the end of the day, um, we have so many patients uh, ill-served who are sick and really need uh, new therapies.